come to Jamaica, the island of real bad man. Some real dog at you, throw some real gang bang. No run for the fair, the dark cabbage man. Step up! These are the moments oh. when everybody gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in the self defense no matter what. These are the moments when every gangster gun loaded. We not instigate violence, but we believe in our self defense. In the criminal justice system, the people are represented by two separate and equally important groups the police who investigate crime and the district attorneys who prosecute the offenders for their heinous offenses. These are their stories. Bulletin, bulletin. Quick bulletin for bulletin. Yo, my friend, bring a bully beef thing for bulletin. No man, before them and make you some bulletin. No man, alright people, welcome back to the True Island Stories platform. Remember I told you last month, exclusively, Breaking newsingly that a Mr. Linval Thompson, aka Shabby, issued them out, was going to attend court on uh, December the 1st in the year of our Lord 2022. And by virtue of all uh, my information, this was indeed so because he went to court yesterday. I should have brought you the badness, but then exigence of services in other departments needed my attention and I had to, you know, address certain issues. But today, here we are. And did he go to court? Yes, he did attend court. Now, why did he go to court? On what charges did he go to court? What was his reason for attending court? to appear and answer to his name at a certain day, day, time and place. Well, let me tell you. As earlier reiterated, it was for his bail hearing and uh, sources from his camp told me uh, Mr. Thompson, including his lawyer, was uh, very optimistic in uh, securing bail, but sadly, well, for their camp, this was not so. Shabby shook them out, attended court on the triple knockings involving two fly and two other pilgrim that succumbed to their injuries via kettleballs, skeletons, skelly willy, you know, at a party, which in, I'm going to give you some more in-depth, in-depth, in-depth look on that knockings, because as I said, <laughs> this series has more twists and turns than a girl with a wine in a party and a weed or Hennessy. But Mr. Shabdan was denied bail. So now, where does he go from here, you might ask? Well, allow me to indulge you then. He will attend court again next month, but this time, his court, circuit court, and trust and believe, I'll give you the breaking and exclusive news on how that transpires because the Guru God will be following that case very closely and keenly. Also, that of the J-Man's case. And we all know J-Man got arrested for a double homie in uh, Fort Lauderdale um, just uh, two months ago, if not a month and a half ago, depending on, you know, how you do your math. So, it is alleged that J-Man is uh, singing like a New York nightingale. And uh, we thought, well, he would have been given a, you know, highly paid lawyer based on the the flossing and the, as how Moby put it, you know, them invent the slang, brothing, sweepstakesing, scamming, even. But, I mean, they have left him to rot. Now, he was faced with two choices. Either face his dilemma on his own, or tell upon some man. And tell, he did. Yes, he told. In a very convincing manner. And he was crying. Crying, crying, crying. Not because he was caught on camera, or perhaps not. I should use the operative perhaps. But because the way yo, he was abandoned by his peers. Because, see, now, it was every man for thine self. Thee for thyself. And God for us 